good morning my dear students previous class we have learned about functions and function structure that means function call function board function call and function definition so in this section we are studying in detail about function definition so in structure of function we have to know about the function definition and function call so function definition what is a function definition function definition is the part where the task is actually carried out that means if you are doing some sum of two numbers then this calculation part is at the function definition so function definition contains the keyword def first line will be keyword def def and then function name and then parameters and then colon inside that some indentation or spacing will be there it is indentation some codes will be written so the syntax of the language contains function def keyword then function name then parameters and colon then after that one section in this there is indentation that means spacing will be there in this we are doing our calculation part for example let us consider the sum function to find sum of two numbers two variables are needed which is known as parameters so two parameters in the function so keyword def used then sum is the function name which is supplied by the user we can give any name for the function according to our wish but the function call and the function definition both have the same name for example if we used add in function call then we have to use add in function definition also so def sum of inside that parameters will be there and we there will be body of the function this portion def sum of x comma y this portion is known as function def header in function definition there are two parts function header and function body and inside this indented block is known as function body so in this indented block there will be s equal to x plus y return as return statement optional if you want to return something then we can return otherwise we can print the result here another function is def greet which is used to print good morning so def greet inside that inside bracket there will be no parameters and colon followed by colon and print good morning so function definition contains function header and function body let's look this uh, this def is a keyword def to denote function header then sum is the function name we can give any name then x comma y is the parameters because we are doing addition of two numbers here two parameters are needed so this statement def sum of x comma y is known as function header function header ends with a colon and after that some indentation or spacing will be there and inside that some codes will be written which is known as function body this function body contains the operation the main operation is performed inside this function body and there will be optional return statement either we can use the return statement or we can print the result here itself another method is df greet in this parameters are empty that means no arguments are there function name is greet and keyword is def in all function we are using def keyword and print good morning then good morning will be printed so let us define these terms formally function header means it starts with def and ends with a colon it specifies the name of the function and its parameters parameters means variables that are listed within the parentheses to perform some operation then function body contains statements beneath it it, it is under function header there will be some spacing which is known as indentation after this space there will be function body in this function body all the operations are carried out and there will be sometimes there will be return statement sometimes there will not be return statement and indentation means after function header there will be spacing so this is the function definition let us look another example 
df sum of multiples of n inside that we are calculating sum of multiples so s equal to equation is n star 1 plus n star 2 plus n star 3 so n is passed here and we are calculating this result so here they are using return s return s means one result is calculated and that result is returned back to the function call here we will not use return statement and print s. That means result is printed here. We can use any options. Either we can use return statement or according to our wish, we can omit the return statement. But to work the function definition, there must be a function call. Like our name. I will call your name, then only you will stand up like that. When we are calling the function name, then only function definition will work. So, when we call the function, then the function definition will be will work. So, another function definition are definition for area of square. Here we are calculating area and result is returned. Here also, two. here only one parameter. Here two parameters. Here one parameter. Here two parameters and all contains return uh, statement also. So, by you, according to our wish, we can create function. According to our wish, we can give name. So, structure of next topic is structure of Python program. Before that, we have to specify the function call. So, first structure of the function program contains in the Python uh, program, generally all function definitions are given at the top. Usually, we are writing function call between the statements and Function definition will be at the top. Al always we are using this structure. That means after function definition only, all other codes will be written in Python programming. This is the syntax of Python programming. So definition will be at the top. But definition will not work in the beginning. When we call the function, then only fun function definition will work. But we must write the function definition at the top position. So, this structure contains at the top function definition will be there and at the bottom some statements and from here function will be called. So, when we call the function from here what happen? This function definition will work. So, at the top we will write the function definition. For example, def greet print hi there and at the top there are some statements. So, top level statements contains function definition next is flow of execution flow of execution means how the program will work so when the program starts there will be some statements which will be worked and when we call the function then control will goes to top because at the top position function definition will be there when we call the function only function definition will work so to call a function what is needed function name followed by parenthesis and inside parenthesis parameter list for example def sum x comma y this is the function header not function definition to call this function there will be a function call statement it will look like function name then parenthesis then parameters if the function definition contains two parameters then function call also contains two parameters. If function definition contains three parameters, then function call contains three parameters and so on. So the fall of execution contains how let us look this picture then you can identify. So this is our function. From here function is called. This is main program. Main program means the main part of the program. So execution starts from here. Because function definition will work only when we call the function. So, this is the main part. When we call the function, how can we call function? Function name, then bracket. If parameter is in the function definition, we must use here. So, this is an empty function. That means no parameter inside parenthesis. So, we will call the function as f u and c of basis. Then control will go to top position and calculation will be carried out. And if result is written, that result will be back to here. And suppose if we are printing, then it will be printed here. After that, the statement below the function call work. So, execution will be from, from here. Execution starts. 
then function call when we call the function function definition will work after function definition the lines of statements after function call will work that means when we call function this portion will be work and after this function definition again the statement under the function call will work let's look program to add two numbers through a function for to add, to add two numbers two parameters are needed so at the topmost position there will be function definition here we are inputting number 1 and number 2 which is float according to our wish we can give input it is num1 and num2 then the function is called sum equal to calc sum of num1 comma num2 so this num1 and num2 is passed to the function so when we are giving 2 and 3 this 2 and 3 is passed to function definition so control will be goes to here here the result is calculated and result is returned return means if the answer is 5 that 5 is returned to here and the sum sum is assigned with the value of s that means sum will be 5 and this 5 is printed here so program execution here from begin from here so first number is inputted second number is inputted then function call when we call the function control will goes to a function definition and their calculation takes place and the result is returned here we are using return statement so a value is returned which is accepted by sum and this sum is printed so this is a simple program to calculate sum of the two numbers this work as first this will work that means two values are inputted when we call the function control will goes to sum sum function then some function will work and the result is calculated so result is return statement will give the result back to the function that means this sum will accept the result and it will print so this is the structure of python functions let us discuss this portion in detail about in next class. Let us discuss this portion in next class. So just in this class, you must be aware about function definition and function call. And you must be aware about the structure of function. That means function structure of Python program. That means function definition at the top and function call inside the statements. When we call the function, then only function definition will work. And what is function body and function header? And what is a function called this all you have to study in this class let us discuss in detail about functions in the next class let's wind up the session thank you and have a nice day